It's Friday, July 30th, 2032, and the Sacramento Athletics are two games above 500 at the trade deadline. 53 and 51. Uh, we've been in this position almost every season of the series where this team just cannot figure out what kind of team it would like to be. We are so inconsistent. Um, 8 and 14 in July after a 16 and 12 June, 16 and 9 April, followed by a 13 and 16 May. Our offense is middle of the pack. Our pitching is middle of the pack. Our Pythagorean expected record is middle of the pack. And um, if you can't tell, I'm frustrated. So, who do we have? What are they doing? What do we need to do for the future? Connor Griffin is on fire, and he's got a 145 OPS plus on track to play 109 games. Uh, he was hurt for a few weeks with a strain back in June, but he's having another good year. Now his third year in the major leagues, um, 28 homers would be close to his career high 32 he set last season. He, he's, he's a fantastic player. Uh, might win the gold glove here in right field if he had played the whole season. Miguel Belize is, even though he's wrecked right now, he's on track to play the whole season. Uh, that's why he's on the trade block for us right now. He's not hurt. Um, he has to, had to play center field with the injury to Max Clark, and he's hitting so well that I, I, I worry about his availability down the stretch. Uh, he has an additional year of team control, so I feel like teams would be wanting him. Um, and we'll see what happens here. Bobby Hunter, uh, the best season of his career thus far, I would say. He is playing first, though, so he's not getting the boost of um, the defensive versatility for playing third base, but he is hitting like he was last season, but he hasn't gotten hurt, so uh, a bit more war this year, uh, and pitching seems to be, or wait, no, it's about the same, yeah, with his on-base percentage. Maybe pitching's a little bit better this year with this being a 7% increase, but, you know, who cares. Uh, he, he's having a good year. A um, few more years of arbitration, and, and he's just been rock solid um, at first for us. Dan Sant is having a good year um, on track to play most of the season. He's a 128 OPS plus hitter. He is not a great defender in left field, and he's just kind of an average major league starter. On pace, though, for 39 homers, which would be the team lead, um, and he has been a good trade acquisition as T.J. Brock uh, was a free agent after the year, and he, he signed with the Mets and is pitching well. And Yuri Perez is uh, pitching not great for the Marlins, coming back to them. Um, where were we? So that's Sant. Max Clark was hurt for a little bit of the year. He needs to be in center. I don't know why he is not. Um, there we go. Yeah, he... Um, torn ankle ligaments and was just hurt with a bruised knee. So Belize had played center and they didn't put him back in there, but he's um, hitting around the league average and he's providing good defense. So we're happy about that. That's kind of the baseline for what I expect in center field. Um, and even if this bat doesn't go to where it used to be projected to go um, back when we acquired him, um, he's still a competent big league starter. Tim McFarlane is reaching that point in his career. He's a 70 overall catcher, very good defensively, a great bat, on pace for 19 homers in 117 games, um, reaching that status of a league average catcher, um, hitting for or hitting, you know, for a league average OPS plus um, and providing decent defense, maybe not the framing you'd like, um, but he's still got 60 framing. I'm happy about him. Uh, and I was recently, excuse me, recently corrected, Flagler College is D2. I think I either said D3 or NAIA. Just want to shout out St. Augustine, Florida. Jeremy Rodriguez having a uh, bit of a sophomore slump after placing second in the Rookie of the Year voting last season. He is more of a uh, defensive-minded third baseman, although the glove isn't there, you know, as much as you'd like him to be with this uh 70 arm he's got. I guess it's the range falling. It used to be a 50. Um, but, you know, he's nice to have on the team as a good defender and a, and a decent bat. And he's uh, young and cost-controlled. Ismail Ayala has come on strong uh, recently. He is hitting very well in June and July and has kind of wrestled uh, the role of our right-handed second baseman away from Jeff Wagner. Although I'm not sure that he is the best defender at the position. Um, he is he's doing well with the bat, so 
Uh, we're happy to have him on the team. And uh, he, he seems to be pinch hitting a lot. Um, 18 more games played than started. Zach Lavalley has come up for a little bit, and he's the other half of the platoon with Ayala. Uh, he is the better option defensively at second base. Um, and he is steadily improving. He had a bit of a rough start. Um, or no, he didn't. Wait, this isn't MLB. No, he had, a, he had a quick start, and he's actually been roughed up recently. I, I was thinking of Grady Emerson. Um, so Lavalley doing well. Uh, and Emerson not on the big league roster. He has debuted, um, but we need right-handed hitting right now. It's just we're, we're not hitting uh, left-handed pitching at all compared to how we're hitting right-handed pitching. So, um, and some of that's regression of the mean that should happen throughout the season. Mauricio Baladejo is uh, fielding his position better than almost anyone else in the league, but he is a bat that's 50% below league average, and that hurts his war, but he's still a positive war player, and that's okay at shortstop for me. Davidson Gutierrez uh, backing up Tim McFarlane, having a fine year here in his um, longest shot at big league action, doing, doing better than he did with the Mets last season because he is framing well here in Sacramento. Jeff Wagner has played um, 71 plate appearances so far here in his rookie year. Actually, no, he expired as a rookie last season. I didn't know he played that many games. Um, but he is a captain, and he's a righty, so we have him up, but he's not as, as great defensively as you'd like him to be. And then finally, Jeremy Johnson has barely played this season, um, but he has hit very well in AAA, and we need the right-handed hitting, like I said, and... and um, I, I just don't know if we have a role for him. I might need to put Emerson on the on the uh, roster just for versatility because he can play short. He can play all over the – no, that's Jeremy Johnson again. Emerson. He can play all over the field. Um, and with Rodriguez struggling, they're going to start him. Yeah, he, he's got a low BABIP and only 53 plate appearances. And since he's already come up this season, I'm ready to, to play him again. Um, 13 games started, but he's been down in AAA for... Actually, no, I just demoted him before I started this video, but I haven't been on this save in a while. Um, so he's back. Like he never left. And that's the lineup. Pitching-wise, Chris Mullen... I mean, what a trade. What a robbery for me. Um, giving up Juan Marrera, who is in double-A, actually, or actually high-A, now in, no, he's not in double-A, high-A, doing well, um, but he is older than that level, um, he's a very good defender, but I just, it's more worth it to have this pitcher who's, who's contending for the Cy Young right now than this guy who, excuse me, got the dog hunting for bones, um, who's, who's, you know, contending for Cy Youngs right now versus a guy who might end up being a, a third baseman. Jihoon Kim, uh, another guy that I traded because, you know, he, he is the definition of a lottery ticket. He's 19 years old, bad defensively, bad work ethic, bad base running talent, um, limited gap power, and, and you're betting on the contact and the power being fully realized for him to be a valuable player. Uh, he's a number 79 prospect in baseball, but I would give him up 10 times out of 10 for Chris Mullen, who is a 298 ERA, 294 FIP. He's going to go over 200 innings hopefully this season. He's been a real number one starter. And uh, Joe Little is is not a bad number two at all. 342 ERA, um, 344 FIP, uh, K per nine near 10 as a starting pitcher. And he's still got room to grow with that stuff and movement. And his changeup is, is still, you know, not at its full potential. He's only 25. We got two really talented Top end starting pitchers now, um, which we haven't had for almost all of this save. Jamie Maynard has has started a number of games this season, but he's now in the bullpen and he's having a good year as well. Um, he uh, came over in a trade from the Yankees, and, and despite a lot of guys that we have that have some issues with control, he's he's limiting the walks. Chris Mullen, I just want to shout ten point seven Ks per nine. Um, Wilkman Gonzalez is getting unlucky once again this season. I'm not thinking about trading him because we just need an arm, um, and this ERA should normalize 5.60. Um, but the control, an issue for him over five walks per nine. But you know that's similar to what he did um, in his first, excuse me, full season for us, where he uh, was walking five guys per nine, but but just was a better 
ground ball pit. Oh, well, yeah, now that I'm looking at it, it's a lot of BABIP luck. But he's getting unlucky with the BABIP right now. Trey Combs, uh, lefty pitcher, FIP lower than the ERA, so we're hoping that stabilizes for him out of the bullpen. And this is a guy who it really needs to happen for is Joey Estes, 5.50 ERA, a 3.95 FIP. A lot of teams are interested in him. Um, and he's under, I think, one more year of team control. I might move on from him just if I get a good offer. Chase Hampton, 5.65 ERA, just kind of, you know, he's a number five starter. Um, wish he could be better, but this is what it is right now. Nick Lodolo has been hurt, but when he's pitched, 294 ERA, but the FIP is two runs worse than that, which is, you know, not great, but he's 34 and he's a free agent after the year. Um, and, and he's been good. Brandon Font's been a little angry about his role, but he's not pitching well enough to uh, for me to really care. Jaden Baptiste has just been called up. Daxton Levin, who is 22, has pitched 15 innings, 240 ERA. Um, we just needed a righty. He, he, you know, if we make a move at the deadline, he could be on the way out. Um, Wyatt Crowell is a guy we just recently traded for from Cincinnati, and he hasn't pitched well to start um, ERA wise. You can see we're just getting unlucky. Three five seven fifth though, but it's in seven innings, so who cares? Um, we gave up Jordan Wicks, who was terrible for us. We traded him on June fourth. Um, He's having an even worse time in Cincinnati than he did in Sacramento, and we picked up a, a lefty who's cheaper. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, and then Alcacer, Alcacer, Frank Alcacer, boom, boom. Our uh, Rule 5 draft pick from the Angels is a 3-3-5 ERA. Um, FIP about a run higher. So we're getting a lot of variance from these guys um, with their FIP and their ERA. Some guys are getting super lucky. Some guys are getting super unlucky. Maybe it stabilizes and we're still the same team, but uh, who knows? That's where we are at this point. We have about $8 million available. The fan interest is up. This is the highest crowds we've had uh, in the history of this sim. I, I boosted the um, capacity of the ballpark to what I would imagine, you know, once it was renovated to, to full Major League standards, it would fit about 35,000 people. Uh, and we're supposed to be boosted next year to a $146 million budget. I you know, highly doubt that because it's been the last five years that it's been projected that, and we've stayed at $124. Um, but we're probably going to shed some salary next season. We've got a, a number of guys that I don't think I'll bring back. Um, and, I, you know, I just think we're doing well. 23rd, pros- or 23rd system in baseball, Grady Emerson back up to number 42, Chris Welch in AAA, just outside of the top 100. Josh Mallett already up to double A. Um, and some guys that we've drafted doing well. Chris Sinclair has had a little bit of time in the majors, but he has not hit well. The ratings have come up, though. We now have a very, very deep triple A. Oh, I do want to say one thing about the Midland Rockhounds. They're 74 and 16, our double A team. Um, I don't even know why. I don't think it's stacked by any means. Um... Like, none of these guys are better than a 40 overall on the major league scale. But they're just, you know, Steve Manley, a 25-year-old waiver claim from Boston, having a fantastic season. Shamar Outing, who we traded for with Pittsburgh in the offseason. Uh, I forget for who. Oh, yeah, it was for $500,000 in international bonus pool money. We pick up this guy who's hitting very well. Chase Petty, who's 29, um, lights out. Chris Salazzo, or Eric Salazzo, excuse me, having a great year uh, at second base. Chris Broom, I just demoted because he was struggling in AAA. Um, and it, his ratings have fallen a bit. But he's hitting well, Charbonneau. So we, we got a number of guys. I just think it's ridiculous. 74 and 16. Um, after an 88 and 50 season a year ago, our high minors continue to excel. Sacramento, a part of that, too. Uh, we got a few guys down there that have played the majors. Sean Galloway, um, look at his ratings, man. He just couldn't do it in the bigs. I will probably re-promote him. I might do that right now. Um, no, you know, it depends if we trade Belize. Yeah, which I think we're going to. Um, I'll have Galloway come back up. Um Siyoshi so Sakamoto has come up while Connor Griffin was hurt, um, and he didn't hit very well. Well, actually, he did very well in, in 25 plate appearances, and he's hitting great in AAA. Um, Jace Young is down because he, again, was bad, and this just might be who he is. He's a free agent after the year. I don't really care. You know, we got guys who can hit, um, like Bobby Hunter, 
and we got young guys we want to promote. Sergio Saldana is not having, um, you know, a spectacular season in AAA, but at, at 23 he's doing well, uh, and he's won a few uh, Player of the Week, Player of the Month awards. Jeff Moody did not pitch well in the bigs for us. Or no, he didn't even break camp with us. That's right. Yeah, he's been in AAA the whole season. He was off to a poor start. Now he's doing better. Cam Caminiti is a guy who who did not pitch well for us in 27 innings. Uh, so he's down in AAA. Josh Hansen here as well, but he's pitching poorly. Bacalar hasn't come up. Chris Welch, Bryce Jarvis. Has Kim come up? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it was Levin was the guy who's the young guy that I brought up. We DFA'd Cole Mathis. Um, he was pitching very poorly. Probably the end of, line, end of the line for him with us. But Belize is the guy that I'd like to trade. And if I can pair him with Jace Young, that'd be awesome. See who we can get. Chris Barber. That's an interesting player, but he's fragile. Josh Dyer, no. And the Blue Jays really want these two guys. But for prospects that I'm not super in on, Fernando Cruz is a good guy. What about regulars? Cervantes. Interesting. I think, you know, that's actually a guy that I'd be very interested in. He's a super utility. We could send down Jeff Wagner. The base running's bad, though. That's the thing. It's tough about him. Big game Bob Moore. I'd rather have the young guy. Jason Churio, no. Shanuel, but he's on a big contract, and I don't really want him. So if I can get Cervantes for cheap, I, I'd look at him. Sincere Superville. That's a fun name. He's a lefty, though. I, I would want a righty back in the outfield. There's Dyer again. Frank Mazzucato. Austin Charles is doing well in AAA for the Yankees after we traded him. Brian Ramos. Now that is an interesting player to come over, but he's under contract for two more years at 12.6. And we just don't have a need for a player like that right now with Bobby Hunter hitting well. Um, Christian Santana, the range isn't high enough. Luis Angel Acuna isn't hitting. And I, I want to acquire guys that can help us for next year as well, so I'm not in the bag for very highly paid one-year vets. We can check that out, though. Chase Davis on the block. Bouncing back after struggling last season. But he's under contract for two more years. Pat Gregan. Now that guy, he's a lefty and fragile, which kind of takes me out of the it takes me out of the races for him. Max Wagner, we don't need. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's this guy, Cervantes, but we'll check on the vets. And he's a two war player. Um well, let's, let's establish what our needs actually are here. So I think outfield is fine. We have Griffin. We have Clark. We're trading Belize, which, you know, it's just a bet because he's wrecked. And I'm not sure that we're going to set the world on fire in the second half of the season. If we do, sure, great. And Dan Sand, I like enough um, to play. And then we have all these young guys that deserve opportunities like Galloway, um, Sinclair, Sakamoto, I'd be comfortable calling up. Joey Estes, I don't need to trade. Um, when we're looking at these two guys. Probably need to call up an infielder here. Salazzo, sure. Um, and then pitching, we could probably add a starter if we find a deal that, that fits. And we could probably add a right-handed reliever. Maybe two. So a starter, two relievers, um, and a right-handed infield utility guy. And I think we're going to find that in Cervantes. So who do they want for him? Chase Young. They'll do it straight up for him and save us a ton of money, and then we can send Belize somewhere else. I'm cool with that.
Thank you very much, Jace Young. You'd one good year with us, and you just couldn't put it back together, uh, unfortunately. So, shortlist him, and now Cervantes. Um, we will put on the big league roster. I don't like that he's not a base runner, but it's okay. So Jeff Wagner goes down to AAA, and Cervantes comes up. And they like him to start. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. And he's a, um, you know, he fits our need for hitting lefties. So I'm good with that. And then we'll focus on pitching, which I think is actually the real bugaboo. Sixth in starter ERA, ninth in bullpen ERA, fifth in the AL in runs against, and twelfth in runs scored. But I see our offense as kind of okay. Um, taking Belize out. I don't know how we haven't scored that many runs, man. We got hitters all over. Uh, that's confounding to me. But it must just be because we've had so much overlap in guys that have been hurt. I don't know. Uh, but I'm not I'm not trading another position player to block some of the young guys we have, like Lavallee and, and Emerson. On the waiver wire, Casey Schmidt. Mm. Tim Cook, Tim Apple available. That's an interesting player. Do I have a 40-man spot available? No. Could I DFA somebody? Trey Beard. Yeah, I called him up because he's a lefty for, for a minute for us. I could DFA him, fine. But we don't need... I don't know. Does he have options? He's 23. I don't want to do that. We just traded with the Diamondbacks. Um... So, Bryce Miller, like I said, I almost traded for him in the offseason, and I regret not doing so because now he costs that much capital. Um, Orion Kirkering, free agent after the season. We can get him for not that much. Okay. So, Kirkering on the short list. He's very expensive, though. Duvall, I wish... Yeah. We could upgrade Font, but that's a lot of money. And I Font, you know, ratings wise is okay. Abreu, I just don't like. I'll put Duvall in there. Contra, too expensive. Um, Connor Cook, what a season he's having. 181 ERA, is he available for cheap? Yes, he is. So we will look into Connor Cook. Not the Michigan State quarterback, but a different player. Crawford's hurt. David Festa was a guy I thought about trading for. So we'll look at him. Wilmer Flores, I think, too expensive for his ratings. But, you know, it's a good starter. No, they, that's too much to give up. So two relievers and a starter is, is what we're aiming for here. Sandlin, too expensive. Jackson Baum used to having a good year. Yeah, we'll think about him. Burrios, Boyle, I don't need to bring back. And then for the 45s, I'll scan the waiver wire here. John Shaw is a guy that we had for a minute, and then um, when did we trade him to Texas? Oh, he just left because he was on a um, minor league option deal. Oh, he's having a bad year. So Tim Apple I would, I would pick up. Boudry's bad. Tristan Smith. Yeah, Tim Cook. Eh, no. What about the starters that are 45s that I can convert? in two relievers. That's a good player to pick up. And he's played with us before and pitched well. Ty Madden, also a guy that we got rid of, unfortunately. Or no, it was a um, different Tiger. Oh, what's his name? I don't Jacob Melton. Troy Melton. Not Jacob Melton. Troy Melton. Nolan McLean on the minimum. I like that. 
We've had Oviedo before. Chris Paddock out for six months. Freddie Peralta. Think about him. Takoa Roby is wrecked. And then that's it. Okay, so the names we have. So we'll go after the guys we like the most. Um, so Kirkering's a really good reliever. And I'd like to pick him up. Uh, it's not too expensive. But we'd probably have to move off of uh, some, some capital to, to retain the salary. Uh, I wouldn't give up a young starting pitcher for that. Chris Broom, I could I could do that. Especially if they retain a lot. Yeah, retaining 90% for a guy who's fragile and I don't really have a spot for with how many lefties we have. I'm okay with that. And is there anybody else I could add that they'd like to trade? Geloff, that's fun. Alcantara's too much money. Jung Hoo Lee's hurt. Is there another guy that you'd like to get rid of? Christian Scott? How's Devin Williams looking these days? Too much money for him. Matt Brash? No, oh, they're spending so much freaking money on these guys. What about Bednar? No. Okay, so Kirkring, I'm good with that. Can I get a prospect out of it? Because I like Broom as a player. I think I think he's a good player. I just don't know if he fits. Um, and I, I would like a guy right now if I could. Pat LaPlante. He's gettable. No. Just give me a guy. This guy's 25. You don't care about him. He's having a great year. Suzak? Yeah, sure. Boom. Orion Kirkring is on the roster. I don't know. We got to make a 40 man move. Trey Beard. Sorry, buddy. And then we will call down Levin. We need a catcher here in AAA. Andy Eggers, catcher in AA. Brad Bay, maybe. No, Highlands is the best option. All right, that works out. Actually, they need a catcher in single A. Jeez. Um, have anyone extra? Yeah, I don't really care about him. Go ahead. And then... What do we have on loan? Well, we're waiting on these two guys to finish up their summer ball. Okay, so two more of these guys I'd like to pick up. And Miguel Belize could be on the move, but maybe we don't have to give him up. I don't need to give up that much for that kind of guy. Who's bad and is a good starter that I could trade Belize for? Pirates. Who's this guy? 22, can't do that. Reds. Jared Jones? No. Hmm. Could be one of these Rockies pitchers, probably. If I can get a lot of Wilmer Flores' money retained. Uh, 
that they wouldn't even take him straight up. Okay, of the guys that we can trade for, Duvall, save a lot of money adding Belize, but he's just so good with the bat that I can't, if we're, if we're going in on this, I can't trade him. Um, I'll trade him in the offseason if he gets through this through the year. Switch back to double A. All right, so we'll make two more moves here quickly. Peralta, McLean, I like, but the control's bad. We need control guys. Peralta. They like John Chilson. They like Levin. Eric Ross is a reliever, so I would move from him. Um, but I like Connor Cook the most. So where was Ross? I can add him to this deal. They like him. And then probably somebody on the 40-man roster would have to be traded. I'd give a Bacalar for him. They didn't even care. Um, oh, Josh Hansen. What about Joey Estes? Yep, save money. Okay, I'm doing that. Mm. Cool. Very good pitcher added to the team. And he'll start. So now that's what the rotation looks like. That's what the bullpen looks like, and I like that. With Gonzalez in the pen, that's nice. And I think that's good right now. We have the lefties, and we got the best bullpen arm on the market, and we added a starter. I don't think we need hitting. The only better reliever is Duvall, who I don't really need. Those two guys cost too much. Yeah, I'm good. Two pitchers. And we don't move off Belize. Because um, he's a sure thing. Galloway, I, I would like to get up pretty soon. And then we had Cervantes as our utility infielder. And maybe one of these young guys comes down for Galloway. I'm not sure yet. We have enough players to get through this season. And that's okay. So let's see what we do here against Detroit, see if we have any offers at the deadline. Ports are over a player. Who do they need up? One of these hitters, probably. Sure. No, cancel. No, I don't care about either of those two. I guess I should decline them. I'm not giving up Josh Walling either. I don't think anybody else wants <laughs> players on my team. Does not seem so. All right, whatever. We'll go to the next day. Um, and then I'll look at the league, look at some stats, and then we'll be done.
we added the, the best reliever on the market and, and did not add really any payroll at all, uh, moving off two players that were owed some money. Phil King evolving well. Um, Highlands got a boost. Hachon Kim as well. Tim George and Wedege are two guys that we drafted. Steve Bruns. Zach Geloff goes to the Diamondbacks. Probably to replace the guy we traded for. Cervantes. Steve Bruns down in high A gets an award. Ben Hughes in single A gets an award. First round pick this year, yeah, so he'll move up. Maxwell Muncy, our former prospect, probably going to win the MVP in the, uh, what is this, Frontier League? Yeah. So we lose 4 nothing to the Tigers in the first game after the deadline, 53-52. and um, One game out of the final wild card. We maneuvered to kind of be looking to make the playoffs, but we'll see. Definitely need to catch fire. Uh, we can catch the Angels. They have a very poor offense, but the best pitching staff in baseball. Um, Dodgers and the Padres in a dead heap in the NL West. The White Sox, the best team in the American League. They are certainly rejoicing seeing that after this season in real life. Um, and Oh, my God. <laughs> Since we started this sim, 64 night, I mean, not a season over 500 until last season, and now the best team in the American League, a long rise for the White Sox. But about a season and a half remaining in this simulation for us, and we need to turn it around pretty quickly. So thank you for watching. See you later.